How's the bacon, did you say? It's two job. Oh, what a fantastic hit! Roy Keane on Holland. Here's Sancho. Aguero! I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again! Welcome to the Prawn Sandwich Podcast Series 3. I'm Nathan Cupid and I have the power of that fucking Instagram shit, whatever it is, you know, that Zoom call crack. <laughs> I have no idea what Oh, the church kickoff thing. Oh, the oh, in there. oh, yes. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> I have the seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, that was a bit of a shit gag. Anyways, we'll carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, obviously, joined by the dynamic duo of Dylan McKenzie and Jamie Jackson. Hello. Good afternoon. The strike force more lethal than Sheringham and Solskjaer. Um, <laughs> so, obviously, at the start of the season, well, start of Series 2, which ended abruptly mm. due to technical difficulties, um, we did a prediction episode for the start of the season. So, we're going to do a mid-season review of that episode to see how we're getting on, basically. And also there's a return of Sancho watch as well, see how the kid's getting on. So, uh, lads, thoughts? How we're getting on so far? Um, awful. Just dive into our predictions? Yeah. <laughs> just, 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 right. 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 Should we just go in the order right. that we like went through in that first episode, so Premier League? Like, yeah, yeah. Go like that. Absolutely, I've got like point, every right? table loaded up in front of us, and that so oh, that's good. Don't worry about, that. don't worry about that. I can fire in, yeah. Like, bear in mind, like, we we made these predictions before the transfer window had shut, before, yeah, shut as well. before there'd even been like draws for the Europa League and Champions League and stuff, but it. Uh, I don't right. think it's too bad. Some of them are outrageous. <laughs> oh, you can you can tell when I was looking at the the league one and two right. and the, episode, just... the, ep- the, ep- <laughs> oh, this the episode the dropped on the second of September, so we probably made our predictions in like late August. Oh, Maybe I can't, uh, can't mind on. It was I think it was something like. I, th- I think on the episode, I think Jamie says we've made this like eight weeks before the start of the season. That defi- it definitely didn't drop as an episode in, de- in December. No September. Way. I thought it was before. September. I thought you said December. Oh, no, no. Second, second, second of September, the episode dropped. Ah, right. So we made our predictions probably like what? Early, late, no, late August. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go out and load back in, eh? <laughs> Need a job. I'll I'll restart. I'll restart. <laughs> so technical difficulties again, but it's fine. We've handled it. So <laughs> we left where Dylan's got all the all the league tables in front of him. So yeah, so far. Uh, should, should we just crack on straight away then and go to well, Premier League? Premier League yep. winners. Who who did we have down? I had City. I had Manchester City too. I had Liverpool, and my my theory on it was at the time because they had the best defense in the league. <laughs> <laughs> that went down well. I don't know. Well, the the, the whole defense went down, didn't they? Well, the biggest centre, the best centre back in the world died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody wanted England's number one to get sent down for attempted murder and all that, didn't they? Fuck, that was fucking ridiculous, that, eh? It's, well, it still is. Still go, like, it's... It's it's an outrage. <laughs> you can't good, out him. City are top, anyway. <laughs> yeah. City are on top, yes. Five five points clear with, with the game in hand. So, preferably eight points clear. I'm, I'm quite confident with that pick. 
they're playing quite good football as well, aren't they? They're back in winning ways. Absolute juggernaut at the moment. They're, all, they're also playing without a striker, so and yeah, <laughs> winning. So well, we all said that 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 they needed to buy a, a centre half, didn't they? And John Stones has got a nice little partnership with is it Ruben Diaz? Ruben Diaz at centre back. That's yeah. a nice little partnership at the back. That's working quite well. Stonesy back in the England side, maybe. He's made he's he's, he's he's made he's made as much difference Diaz than Van Dijk did, but you just don't get it rammed down your throats. Exactly, no, because <laughs> it's not Liverpool, man. He's been absolutely quality. And I, t- and I tell you what, it's making John, like, it's brought John Stones' his game along massively as well. John Those Stones is been, phenomenal, man. It's, it's been unreal this season, Stones. Like, I tell you who else is unreal, but under under the radar, uh, Jao Cancelo. Absolutely. Absolutely. What a like, ah, uh, yeah, I get that, yeah. I'm just going to flick a light on, boys. <laughs> 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 Love it, oh. Phil Foden as well. It's nice to see because yes. we all didn't. We all thought that there were well at the time there was that crack that Lionel Messi was going to be out of Barcelona, which we predicted that he wasn't going to leave and he hasn't left. So that's good. Yeah, but we don't. Talk- I don't know. Like a lot of mine, I said City will win this if they get Messi. <laughs> 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 not the Prem, nice not the Prem. I thought they win the Prem anyway. But you it's know. nice to see that, like. I think the biggest thing was in, in the Liverpool game, and I think Gary Neville put the nail in the coffin where he said, if this match was last season, the first substitution would have been Phil Ford and off, whereas now Phil Ford is getting full game time. You know what I mean? It's nice to see that like he's giving him his chance and he's absolutely thriving on it. Like I didn't yeah. realise how fast he was, eh? He, you know. <laughs> my dad said the same thing. It's like, you know when he sprints after a ball? He doesn't look like he's doing like giving much effort, and then you see when he's on a one-on-one in a race, he can just outpace anyone. Like he hides I, it, he hides I, it so I, well. I tell you what, he's, he's bulked up a lot on all that. Oh, it's just me, isn't he? But he's bulked Garth, up a lot. Garth Garth Crook said this weekend that even though he's playing well, he still wouldn't have him ahead of Madison, Grealish, or Mount in the England team. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gav Crooks, who famously picked somebody that hadn't even played in his team of the week once. Yeah. <laughs> Must be fucked if Super Garth's picked him. Look, it looks like... It reminds me of Baron Greenback from Danger Mouse, Gav Crooks. <laughs> he looks like him. Uh, what, are your, what, what are your top fours? I had City... <laughs> mine's bad. I had City, Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal. Yeah. I had City, Chelsea second, <laughs> Liverpool third, and Arsenal fourth. <laughs> I had, I had Liverpool first, City second, United third, Chelsea fourth. Well, Ooh, well, well City is probably the best at the minute then, because at the minute it's the best. City, Man United, third is Leicester City, and fourth is Liverpool. Mm. Um, I, me and Nate both had Chelsea, they're fifth, they're only a point behind Liverpool now, and Mm. Tuchel's got them playing far better. Yeah, they've um, had a managerial swap. Never. They're not far off there. Eh? No. Jay Duke. United. I I just went out of spite with United because I don't like Solskjaer. But, <laughs> but, but I will say one thing is, if I I generally think if Fernandez got injured, they'd, 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 they'd go bad. They it's are so bad at all. Yeah. I'm sick of the whole... It's been a year since his side now. And I'm sick to death of whenever my United play well. I haven't seen a player impact a team since Cantona. You've been saying it for 12 months, man. Like, <laughs> shut up. You know, yeah. we get it. He's a good little player. And when he plays well, Man United do well. Right, leave it at that. Like, honest to God. Who did you pick, <laughs> who did you pick fourth, Jay? Um, Chelsea. Chelsea. So me and Nate picked Arsenal. They're in 11th. <laughs> <laughs> Let's discuss Arsenal because they it started at, well. And then was, after, yeah, they did. They, they, they had that bad on. run. Like, that was a bad run. Fucking lost 10 games. Like, it was. Yeah. Oof. I can't believe how bad Williams been for them. He was one of my players to watch. <laughs> Me and you both uh, three, said that like, Williams assists. would be an unbelievable signing for them. <laughs> three assists on the first game. He hasn't had an assist since. Nah, it's, it's been absolute shite. Like, Honestly, it's been I don't know. But then again, that's the joy that's the joy of football, isn't it? That's why we love it. Predict it and nine times out of ten it gets you wrong. William this season oozes big money move like big contract in China next season. Eh? Oh yeah. 
Bamiyan's been think. poor as well. That was a bit of a shock. Yeah, they got the they got the Yang deal done though, didn't they? Yeah, but they've been done now. Yeah, we said that he needs to get that deal done, and he he got it over the line. So he heard it on the front side first. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, pick Leicester. There, nice yeah, little surprise Leicester. in there. To be fair to them, but I, I mean they were second for most of last season, weren't they? And then yeah, they the played some good stuff. Played some good I stuff. Mean, they've been getting results with Alvadi recently, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. And that's big. Um, I'd love, I'd love to see Everton get in the top four. I'd love to see Everton get in the top four. Like three, oh, well, three points, three points behind Liverpool in seventh, but with two games in hand. Mm. Not sure who those games in hand are against. They've got one, one of them next week. It's City actually. We've got City next week. I I'll wouldn't see. mind seeing Everton in the top four. Carlo Ancelotti is doing a good job there. Well, leading no. on to fir- leading on to first manager sacked. Uh, David Moyes is creeping up in the old Champions League places, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking asshole. <laughs> David Moyes is blowing bubbles up the Premier League. To be fair, my pick was poor at all. I picked Dean Smith. Yeah, me too. I picked Dean Smith as well. <laughs> That's the Villar, right? <laughs> uh, Did Billich, I... it? it was who? Billich. Oh, West Brom. Oh, yeah, aye. West he was first yeah. gone. Is only, is, only, is only two gone? Village and Lampard? Village and Lampard, aye. That's, that's not bad. For, um, mind you, we're, I was about to say, for this stage of the season, but we're kind of like a, a month behind anywhere, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, 23 games. We've seen I, the return of the big man. Wilder's survived. If you look at the teams that you could sack your manager, Wilder's survived. Scott Parker's survived. Bruce has survived. Aichi. They picked up a little bit of form. Yeah, Sean Dyche maybe. Yeah, Dice is untouchable. I think because they they do the same every season. I think yeah. I think well I think Wilder's untouchable at Sheffield. Even if they go down, I think they'll stick with him. They'll yeah. keep him. Mm. Um, uh, did they, they do all right? Brighton, Brighton have only won five, drew ten. Uh, Brian Potter. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, to be fair, well, Arteta. He could have. I know. Could have. I predicted Leeds would get a top 10 finish. How's that looking? <laughs> a 10th at the All game. right at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Bamford's turned into bloody no. prime Robbie Fowler. No. I said that Rodrigo would be a good signing for them and said that he's better than Bamford and everyone's cracking up like folk are wanting him in the England squad of that now. He'll get yeah, in at all. Alan Wilson. Alan Wilson and Calvert Lewin out injured now. He's got a massive chance. Oh yeah, completely. I, I reckon even if they were if they were fit, um, Southgate he uses the type of player Sam Southgate would call up with a oh, bit of fun. straight laced mm-hmm. vanilla. See, I, I did it. I, I was going over the. I was think <laughs> they said it on match the other day, and I was thinking the same. We'd we'd maybe overload with midfield, and take like two strikers. You know, because our strikers Aye. aren't the the best, but then we've got like Grealish, Madison, Mount. You maybe you could maybe push Rashford up top, couldn't you? Ford and Sterling, and Sancho, Sancho, Sterling. It's like well, so it's not many attacking mids. So we all got wrong on first manager sacked. Relegation, relegation. <laughs> Ugh, I've got one out of the bottom three in mine. Yeah. I've got two in mine. Uh, nice. I had Fulham, West Brom, and Villa. So I think is that two. So, yeah, that's, that's who I had now. Yeah. Well, I had West Brom of mine. I had Palace, who were 13th. And, and I had Villa, who were 9th. Yeah, I'm 35 <laughs> points as well. So, like, the massive, sh- <laughs> massive shout to Dean Smith, though, to be fair. Like, he's done yeah. such a good job. Like, considering yeah, back well, end of the season, he was shite. <laughs> what were we saying on, was it like the original one? The original um, predictions episode that like Grealish has missed his chance of a big move and that now <laughs> I was like if anything is <laughs> like upped his uh, reputation more this season. Oh no, he's even had an England cap since, hasn't he? Uh, finally, I think that'll be the bottom three. By the way, because Fulham are 18th with 15 points, and then Burnley are 17th, and they're on 23. Mm. Yeah, the eight point gap. I just can't see Burnley. Can't see Fulham getting that many wins. 
as much as Sam Allardyce has never been relegated from a Premier League, I think he's unless he decides to leave his job a month before the season ends. I, I hope he does that, mate. Like three games to go or something. Keep a record, keep a record, get us back onto the spot. <laughs> I hope they all finish with as little points possible because as many clubs that can steer Sunderland away from like having the worst points tally <laughs> in that area in the Premier League. I know it's Derby and that now, but as many clubs that can finish below 15 points, the better for me. Yeah, well, we need, we need, we'll need West Brom to not win a game and we can afford one more Sheffield United win because they're on 11. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Brom predicting that they won't win another game this season, mind. But... <laughs> Here's hoping. Um, um, that was it for Premier League, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was the Premier League. I can't remember what I had for the League Cup or all like that. Do you want to go back on it? Oh, I was going to just going to say, do you want to go back to domestic cups? Yeah. yeah. But I had <laughs> my League Cup winners out. I had Chelsea. Um, I've I got, can't got, mind. Don't know who I picked. I've got Man City. I think you picked City, Nate. Yeah, it sounds like something I would do. Uh, yeah, because I think I said it's their cup, didn't I? Yeah. And I said use, I use both in because we know the final City Tottenham. Yeah. Yeah. I said Arsenal would win the FA Cup. I said Man City would win that as well. I said City would win that. Uh, and they have... No, the draws tonight. They're just, they're just going to sneakily win, like, a domestic treble. Perhaps even, like, a quadruple. Or they'll just sneak <laughs> it, won't they? Because nobody's talking about it this season. Can you remember a couple of seasons ago? Like, well, when... you all laughed at me for treble, and I have them as FA Cup and Champions League winners and Premier League winners, so... I'm banking on that. <laughs> oh, I can't remember my Champions League one. <laughs> no, yeah. Mind on it. The draws tonight, they beat Swansea last night. It's a quarter-final draw, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Everton-Spurs was a good game in the FA Cup. <laughs> What's that? That's it sounded mind. it. I was listening to it on the radio at work. I watched the highlights. <laughs> I was just playing football manager. manager. <laughs> <laughs> was watching. <laughs> Shall we move to the Championship then? Yeah, go on. Yeah, I'll get the chair table up. So, who picked Bournemouth to go up? Because I never, but who picked Bournemouth to go up? I didn't. Surely someone picked Bournemouth. No, I didn't. I'm no. having a mare. No one picked Bournemouth. I I'm never not. picked Bournemouth, like. I'm doing pretty mint, to be fair. With Why? Are you are you leading up to a Woodgate thing here? Yeah, massive shout Bournemouth. out to big Johnny Woodgate back in management. <laughs> Two games, he's through the next round in the cup and he's got three points under his belt in the league. <laughs> Middle That's breath, shit. Really. He's had to draft in Harry Redknapp as an assistant manager, man. Hey, <laughs> no, you're bound. You, you need help. That man's a legend at that club. I need help. Let's draft in someone that knows the club inside and out and help us out. Would he? He'd be England manager shortly, like. Well, I'll tell you what, if he was still at Borough, there's no way they'd be seventh in the championship like they are under Sunil. Yeah. Seventh, mate. Five points behind, Johnny. He's going to get caught. Not a chance. Borough. So yeah, me, me and me and Jay both picked Borough for third in the in, as a playoff promotion. We're, we're looking alright for that. Shaking. I'm still confident that they will like. I am because they're just doing what they're, they're just quietly going about business. They lose a few a year, then they win a few. No one suspects anything, and then Neil, boom, playoffs. Did you see that footage of him earlier this week at that um, middle uh, yeah. youth game where he's kicking off about <laughs> the rest in that <laughs> consistencies. <laughs> It's like under 16s or something, and he's, and he's like, oh, fucking disgrace. It's quality. Uh, it's quality. Um, I'm just going to get it out of the way now because they are currently. Fucking laptop will work. I picked Derby County to be second. They're currently 22nd. <laughs> well, you got really? the right number in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they did the thing that like everyone kind of thought they would do. Like, uh, the sign Wayne Rooney from DC United, and you just know, like, oh, well, you know, for a fine fact, if Corky goes shite, they're just going to give Rooney the job. I think that was always going to happen. What oh, like, clearly, I clearly, I didn't read into that. But I said Forrest would go up as well, and that didn't exactly go too well, neither. My, my, my three for promotion were Brentford to win the league, I think Forrest second, and they had Blackburn to win the playoffs. <laughs> Forest at Forest at eighteenth, Blackburn and Blackburn at eighth, Nath. So you are kind of not doing bad on that one. They're only six points behind Bournemouth. Bradley Dax coming back as well. <clears throat> I had Norwich. I, I had Norwich to win the league. Yeah, same. Um, Norwich, 
Who do you have second year? Brentford. Oh, well, you've got the top two then. I've got, in, I've got the just top. To, just, yeah. Yeah. Ivan Tony banging in goals for the bees. It's been unreal for them. Ten million pounds. That is quality. Just going back to that episode where Jay <clears> couldn't <throat> believe that someone paid ten million pounds for a League <laughs> One striker. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Dar- Dar- McConnor, man, is knows how to get 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 money for his players. Doesn't he? <laughs> be interested to see if uh, if anyone does get sacked from the Prem, though, that Brentford manager be sought after losing a lot of their stars and he's still top of the league. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because they lost a few, like that they didn't just lose. Um, what Ollie Watkins smashing at Villa, Ben Rama's starting for West Ham. He's only kept Mark, he's got Mark Hondes. Mm. Bringing in Tony was a good one. Like even like, as much as I enjoy Ivan Tony, I did kind of think, is it a step too far? But he's, he's smashing it like. Nah, fair play. Moving to relegation, I will claim I've got two of the bottom three, or is it four in the check prep? In the three? No, it's three. I've got two of the bottom three, so I'm happy with that. I can't. Remember. I know I said Wickham, but I can't remember yeah, the other two. I think I had Luton as well, maybe. I had Wickham, Coventry and Birmingham and currently Wickham are bottom and Birmingham are 23rd. Coventry are 19th, three points above the relegation, so I've got a chance for all three, to be fair. Some, there's some big clubs down there, eh? Like Birmingham, Derby, Chef Wed, like Forest aren't out of it. Ah, no, not a chance. Like, <laughs> Huddersfield in the Prem, I know they're big, but they're in the Prem two years ago. Yeah, exactly. QPR. Well, I had Wickham, Rotherham and Barnsley. Barnsley are doing all right. They're, they're eight points clear of the drop. Uh, Rotherham are 20 if they're just a point, so that can still happen. It's a tough league, to be fair. It's a tough league, the Championship. It's a tough league to stay in, and it's a tough league to get out. Uh, yeah. yeah. Generally, Quite happy with those relegations, though. I, fuck Wickham. Like, I don't give a shit about them. Yeah, I don't give a shit about Wickham. I, I'm pretty sure I said Luton, and <clears throat> maybe it's Coventry. I can't remember now. I should have really paid more attention when I was listening to it the other day. <laughs> League One? League One. Oh, oh God. This, this, is, this is where it starts getting a bit silly because now we're like, <laughs> like I know, like, personally, I know fine well when I, especially my League Two ones, I just looked at teams were like, I, them, 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 and them. <laughs> <laughs> League, League One, um, none of my three to get promoted are currently in a playoff spot or top two. <laughs> I've got I've got Sunderland and Fleetwood me. down. I can't remember what else I said, but I had definitely had Sunderland and Fleetwood. Uh, Maybe it's Oxford or something. I had Peter, I had Peterborough, um, Ipswich and Plymouth. And um Ipswich to, to be fair, Plymouth Plymouth and Ipswich started the season both pure well, but they're both like eleventh and twelfth now. Um like Peterborough third though. Five points off the playoffs. Yeah, Peterborough third. I still think Peterborough will go up. I um, predict. I predicted seventh place Sunderland. Um, where am I at now? Where's my other one? Ninth placed Oxford, and fifteenth place Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said Oxford as well. I had Oxford and Fleetwood with Sunderland as well. Fleetwood are thirteenth. Yeah. How many games have we drawn over the past like three seasons now? Must oh. be about fifty games there. Honestly, we got rid of Jack Ross because he drew too many games. <laughs> he just kept the tradition on in his honour. Oh, honestly, and he's flying with Hibs now. <laughs> he, I mean, he should have got us promoted with that squad he had in, in the season that he was there. Yeah, you can't have two trips to Wembley and lose twice. The squad we've got now is nothing compared to that squad of two years. Yeah. Ago. The only, the only thing the only thing I'll back him up on, which I think a lot of people get a bit nah, you should look at that squad, right? He did lose Madger. And I know and I know Wyke's firing them in this year, but he was shit that first year. Mm. And he also he also said don't sign Will Grigg for any yeah, more than X amount. Grigg. And they still did it. No. I don't back <sighs> him up, but I just feel like if you had Madger, we'd have worked. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we'd, we'd have but gone the amount of money that you'd spent, we spent on Greg, you could have just gave him wages to Madger. So what was the what, what, what was the point? What was the point? Sticking with Sunderland, obviously, we've had a managerial 
I think Parkinson went and we brought in Lee Johnston after countless amount of people wanting every, anyone and everyone was touted at some point, wasn't it? Like the Phillips thing wouldn't go away again. I think Keane was mentioned a couple of times. Yeah, well, we spoke about it with Stephen when he was on as well, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. And then we've got Lee Johnson, who's just like a carbon copy of his dad, really, isn't he? I I don't mind him, eh? Like, I think he needs... I, I don't I don't think it'd be fair to judge him, like, properly just yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We, just, we should definitely still be winning more games than we are, but hands are tied, aren't they? Like, yeah. We need this takeover to go through. We got totally fucked over by this. Um, yeah, yeah, hi. Uh, he does some. Uh, he does some shit. He needs to take out a bit for some of the shit he does. Yeah, like which game? I've, I've, I've watched. I've watched the five last game. Last five games and paid a tenner for fucking each of them. And uh, it's, just, it's just shite, man. Like uh, which which game was it? A couple of weeks ago, where we drew, and it was like you just they like, you just. Uh, you just questioned it. Oh, I can't remember which game it was. That we we drew at home anyway, and it was like, what is he doing? Like some of the substitutions he was making, like, oh, like I'm not saying I could have done any better, but how am I? My my gripes are we've just lost our best defender for six months because he made him play three games in a week, even though he's got an injury problem anywhere. Like, we've got That's a young centre when we when we've got a young centre half who's like arguably who's better than the other two. Mm. Stop playing him. Uh, Josh Gowan, shit. Stop playing him. I don't care if he give it. I don't give a shit that he used to play for you. Like I don't <laughs> care. And four two two two. We're not on Championship Manager ninety eight. Stop playing <laughs> him. Aiden, Aiden O'Brien. Like it's it's a weird one because he has goal involvements, but other in, in other aspects of the game, he's, it, it, that formation just isn't working. Like, we are know. built for 4 3 3 or 4 2 3 1. We have the players there, just play it. I don't even know what an Aiden O'Brien is. Like, I just question him all the time. Like, what is he? Like, what is he? What, what is Aiden O'Brien? Just what is Sunderland right now? It's <laughs> <laughs> Big Charlie's score. I, I just finished my so back. Like, I'm beyond caring until this takeover goes through. To be yeah. honest, I've I, I seen, some, I seen something before. Um, where someone had said, the less serious you take football, the more you start enjoying it. And I, th I think it was in relation to, you know, that Arsenal fan TV thing, that clip where he's yeah. like over the top angry about, like, that's just yeah. not normal. And like, I I actually enjoy supporting Sunderland more now. I just like laugh at it all than when I was getting <laughs> stressed all the time. But, like, we're fucking nah, shit. I don't, I, I don't. This is not enjoyable, man. Nah, no, it's, it's, it's not enjoyable, nice but it doesn't affect my mood. Like, you know what I mean? I uh, see it affects my mood still a little bit. I, like, I was pissed off the other night after the Shrewsbury game, and I like, oh. it, it's worse. <laughs> I think I think the bit that's worse is like, I can go at the match and I can have a few beers. The other night, I just had to close the laptop and sit there and fathom what I've just watched. <laughs> and you just fought <laughs> out fifty quid over the last month watching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, like, sit and let it stew inside your head. Yeah, it's like. Five uh, hundred pound Perusia tops looking a bargain now, Dill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like, oh, what is like? As yeah. long as Charlie White keeps scoring, I'm happy. He's just one player of the month, there. and he's probably going to win a Euro spot as well, man. Because oh, he's fuck off. Gonna... <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> what? Uh, we're not going up this season, anyway. We're not going up. No, we're, we're not going. Up. League one relegation. Let's end it. Right. I've got one of the no no, I've got two. Two of the bottom four that I selected. Well, I, I selected Lincoln, who are top of the league to go. Yes. And my other three were Wigan, Wimbledon, and Rochdale. I think I had Rochdale and, Pl and I'm sure I said Plymouth as well. I say so I have I've I you pitched this episode and all that. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No reason. You would have gotten none of your picks. I know. I'm sorry. Well, I, I picked just did promotions. I, I picked Rochdale, Northampton, MK Dons, and Wigan. And at the minute, Wigan and Northampton are in there. The other two that none of us picked are Burton Albion and Bottom, which is a bit of a surprise, and Swindon at 22nd. Swindon. 
Yeah. Uh, Basically, we're going to still go in. Like in that episode, we said, uh, Jamie said, like, there might not be a club by March, like the way it I know. At the minute, yeah, but it's nice I... to see that they're actually still going. Yeah, well, all the ex players put money in, didn't they? Like, Chelsea right back reached James, put like three grand into the fund and stuff. Like, <laughs> anyone had been alone at Wigan just started fucking money into the club. <laughs> Wilson Palacios sending money over from Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> Time for Darren Emerson. Ben to fork us some of them. I'll sign for us, I'd take him. I <laughs> can give us some of his villa money. Oh, oh, that's a different, that's a whole podcast. <laughs> I'll just see Jamie cringe a little bit. <laughs> Don't, because that's that's the last time like a fo- <laughs> that's the last time a footballer broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Speaking to my cousin today, and uh, he asked us, I don't know why he, he's a Newcastle fan. He asked us, Why do we hate Darren Bent so much? Like, he genuinely didn't know. And I was like, Give our <laughs> right, <laughs> League Two. I, uh, I don't, I don't really want to go for my uh, League Two <clears throat> predictions. <laughs> right, with League Two, all I'm going to take from mine is I've got two of the top four, which I'm happy about. Yeah, oh, fair, fair yeah, fair. I've picked um. Tramia, who are fourth, and Forest Green, who are second. Nice. I had uh, Exeter, Forest Green, and Carlisle. Uh, you need another one because we had to pick four, didn't we? Yeah, Just no, but I can't remember the other one. <laughs> I know my Exeter, relegations for this one. Exeter is lucky to finish their season. The amount of games they're getting postponed. Mm. Exeter is seventh, seventh, and eighth. Carlisle at eighth. Who else you played? Forest Green, they're second. Green. Mm. I know I picked one that Jay picked. We both picked Port Vale. They're 16th. Yeah. And my other one I picked was Bolton, who were 19th. Yeah, I had Bolton, Salford and Bradford. and. Oh, Salford. That's my other one. Salford. Yeah. Salford are 9th. Yeah, Salford still have a great chance of making the playoff. Yeah. Well, going up, really. It's it's really yeah. close. Bradford um... are 20th. <laughs> 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 um, Carlisle... Two... Carlisle are only six points off the top and they've got five games in hand of Cambridge. So, you know, How the hell are they playing these games? I don't, well, you know, think, that's a, I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think that's a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. No, like fatigue will come into that. Mm, like we'll match fatigue. You want the points on the board, you don't want to sit there with games yeah. in hand. Because you just... It, well, that's just what we said about Jack Ross. We had games in hand because of international breaks. Didn't help us mm. at all. Yeah. It confessed it. It confessed it on a player's mind as well. Like you, if you're sat in the house, like it's another game off. You're like, oh god, there's pressure on us to get pick up points now. You know what I mean? And you're in the danger. You just like, as a fan, you tend to just automatically <laughs> add those points on. Like, oh yeah, completely. Yeah. Oh, we're like, like for our case, it would always be when we we're in the bottom three in the Premier. It would be like, oh, we've got three games in hand. I will win them though. Like, we'll yeah, win, I we'll have it seven <laughs> points from them. And stay up. We've got Arsenal, Chelsea, and Man United away. That's nine points there, man. They've got Crawley at home on Saturday, as long as the pitch holds up, because it was frozen pitch while it was off. Was it midweek? Yeah, it was yeah. yeah, yeah. First yeah. of all, they moved it to half two, and then they called it off. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? It's a weird situation at the minute. It is, like... it is cold here at the minute, like. <laughs> yeah. It's freezing. The frozen <laughs> north isn't just a phrase up here, like, it is. It is, honestly. There's Eskimos that are like walking about in Bermuda shorts, man. It's that cold. The, the best, uh, the best investment I've made apart from this Nakata Perusia top that I'm currently wearing. <laughs> the best investment that I've made over the past like couple of months is a heated blanket. Like it's, it's been a pure. Oh, gold. that sounds unreal. I love one of them at work. Only twenty bar. I was a new nice. couch. I've slept. I've slept on it most nights because it's warmer in the sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, League Two relegation. Uh, I had um, currently in the fifteenth place Harrogate and twelfth place Crawley. So I've got shite with them. Nice. I had Harrogate and Markham. I think I said Harrogate and Markham as well. Yeah, but Markham. Markham started the season ridiculously well. I was like, ah, they'll go down because. Yeah, that's a club that's like going to piss at the minute. Top of the league after like four games. I was like, oh no. <laughs> they're, the sixth, they're sixth at the minute. Jesus. The bottom two at the minute, lads, are Grimsby and South End. Uh, Barrow have the same amount of points as South End. And then Stevenage have six point gap to Barrow. But like we said, Barrow have those two games in hand. <laughs> I also said that Barrow would smash it. <laughs> <laughs> the Bluebirds. 
<laughs> the bluebirds will stay up, man. I'm quite happy for Harrogate. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. It's nice to see them like holding their own, considering the like what this is the first time at being a, a football league club. So it's nice to see them holding their own against the football football league opposition. <coughs> oh, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> should we uh, should we move across to foreign lands? Yeah, should we start? Yeah, with well, the first one I've got loaded up is the one that we all love, Serie A. I'm going to wing this because I, I literally haven't wrote anything down for that, but I'm, I'm adamant I said... We only picked league. Pick league winners for these. We didn't yeah. go into... Yeah. I mean, you both adamant picked, I said Inter Milan. You both picked, picked Inter. Yeah. I picked Juve. So, currently is Nath Sporting AC. Top. I know. Yeah. Stefano Pioli is doing a decent little job up there. And then you've got Inter, who you both said second, two points behind. And I then close, my pick, Juventus, with 42 points and a game in hand. So if they win that game in hand, there'll be 45 points. So there'll be four points behind AC, two behind. Inter. So we've done all right there. Yeah. It isn't, well, <laughs> it wasn't exactly like bold predictions, but. <laughs> no. But to be fair, what a title race that is. There's, like... ah, there's a title race. You've got. Roma and Lazio both on forty points. Mm. Um, Napoli, I would say, are out of it on thirty-seven, and they're going through a bit of a shitter at the minute. Too, so yeah, looking yeah. like he's going to get sacked. Lost last night in the semi-final as well, which won't have helped his cause. No, not at all. Eh? No, what's it, is it Atalanta Juve in the final? Or... Atalanta Juve. Atalanta Juve. Because there was a there was a thing on Twitter before, and I was like, "That's how football works, especially Italian." They last. Atalanta is spot, sp uh, s um, sponsored by Joma and the last team oh, to play in the cup final wearing a Joma kit was Fiorentina and Ilicic played for Fiorentina at the time and now he's playing for Atalanta. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, who has linked all that together, man? <laughs> <laughs> Italians, <laughs> love, Italians love stuff like that, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I, At Atalanta, Juve for their cup final and... Yeah, oh. good title race. I'm so, still, I'm, I'm still happy with my inter prediction there. Yeah, me too. As much yeah, as I like be, to I'd see AC at the top of the tree, and like to be fair, Stefano Pioli is like he deserves to win a league, win his medal as a gaffer. But like, you just can't rule out Inter. You know what I mean? You just, I think now that you've you've slipped a little bit, like they'll feel like this is the time to strike. And being two points behind AC, it just they do it over their opponent. Like Juve getting, Juve getting going now, man. I know they've kicked up and they've they've kicked on now, and like you know what they're like over there, them knocking out Inter over a two leg will be mentally, that'll be like mentally mint for them. Oh yeah, the pure juggernaut ones they got going, aren't they? Oh and yeah, Con Conte takes everything personal, so them getting knocked out by them in the semis, Jesus, he'd be he'd be crying his eyes out. <laughs> he's still is he, how many games has he still got in his match ban? Was that it? Is he served it now? Was it a two? No, match that, that was it. I think I'm sure the Fiorentina one last weekend was his last. I think it was only two. Yeah. Mm. But they could be nice. like, if, I can't wait till it gets to like the the last few couple of days, like, last few couple of games, and we'll see what it's like there. Because to be fair, like, even Roma, like I can't remember the name of the Roma gaffer, but like he's had a public falling out with Jekyll and all that, and there's a bit of a animosity Fonseca. going on uh, going on in that dressing room, and for them to still be churning out. Wins and picking up points, that's good. The problem, the problem with Roma is I watched the Juve game and they're saying in the build-up um, when they've played the top six games, they've, 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 they've been beat. Yeah. Like Lazio smashed them 3 nil in the derby. Juventus beat them convincingly. The only point they've took is they drew with Juventus right at the start of the season. They drew 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. And if, you, and if you have a, if you have a look at the goal differences as well, um, Inter of 28, like plus 28, AC Milan yeah. 22, Juve 23. And then, if, if any of the teams that are just outside that top, like Roma on nine, Lazio on nine, yeah, it's, uh, mm. it'll, it'll take some monumental collapse <clears throat> from the, for the top three and some unreal form from Roma for them to get back in the race, really. I know we didn't, I know we didn't, I know we didn't, uh, like predict it but just a little mention because I think it's like big news like Torino 17th point above relegation I know yeah. they, they looked in a dire match, situation at one point though I don't know it, the, the big thing for them is if because Bolotti's still firing if someone comes in for him 
Well, well, it'll be there to the end of the season now. Yeah, I think. Well, who, I reckon who, who can come in for him now? Is the transfer window not shut? The transfer window is shut. Oh yeah. Um, I God, reckon, forgetting like, the timing, man. Jesus Christ! It's um. Yeah, yeah, like I say, I reckon this will be the last, the last, the last one now. I think someone will move, move in for him now because. As much as he's captain, he like he takes that role quite well, and he scored it. Like I don't know, I could, I, I could see Roma getting him. him. I could see Roma yeah. getting him with the takeover money. I think, well, you're saying Jekyll's falling out with the gaffer and that, so I can imagine that being a. Hi, did you see um, Juve were in for Jekyll? All uh, right, Inter Milan want him as well. Ah, in January, I, I in, in the one was nearly done. Did you see that? We've got the, the Roma same. Would have got, Roma would have got fucked over with that. <laughs> it was player for player swap, no cash. It was Jekyll for Sanchez, and the only thing that stopped it happening was the the wage difference because Sanchez refused to drop his wages. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, should we just Spain? Right. Oh, Spain. I said Barcelona would win this league, and I got laughed at. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, yeah, you was you were right to laugh at us. <laughs> to be, almost got it right. The, to be, you know, some of Barca have done better than I thought they were gonna. To be honest, because they were in absolute turmoil in the summer. I never yeah. thought one minute Messi would leave, but they're just uh, the total basket case at the moment. Uh, it looked a bit like, like Dylan said in the episode, like Coleman, Human released like his list of players that he wanted to stay. In. It was it Pjanic wasn't even on that list, and they just signed him or something. Yeah, that was a weird signing for them. Yeah, well, it's just a weird club at the minute, isn't it? Well, I, I predicted Real Madrid to win the yeah, league. Yeah, same. But it's definitely going to be Atletico. Yeah, yeah 50, two games in hand. points with two games in hand. Oh. It's Luis Suarez, like, in the form of his life, just just out of spite. It's pure spite form, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> with 16 goals in uh, 17 games or something this season for them in the league. They've only conceded 12 as well. Yeah, like they don't concede, so they've got thirty goals, like plus thirty goal difference. Yeah, uh, but they're, pff, they're, they're I don't know who those game in hand games in hand are against, but say even if they just <laughs> pick, pick up one win, like in those, that's still going to be the eight points clear. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Do you reckon like S- Simeone must pure love it there? Yeah. Yeah, I can't like. I'm like he's been there for a while now, isn't he? Like I'm surprised no one's yeah, you know, like no one's trying to like pick him up. You know what I mean? I'm no trying to find who the game's in Andover, but can't find it. Ah, oh. yeah, <laughs> two games in Andover: Bill Bow and Levante. Ooh. I'd fancy it with them to win yeah, both of them. They're both in mid table, aren't they? They're something. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. There's not really been any surprises in the league. Sociedad were flying at one point, weren't they? But they've they've dropped to sixth. Yeah. Um, David Silva got injured. Real Betis seventh. Granada they're doing all right eighth, but there's nothing really. The top, it's no. the, the top four is the top four that you think of most seasons. Mm. Yeah. With Sevilla in four, Valencia down in twelve. Mind that's a that's a poor season for Valencia. Yeah, Ooh. lost a lot of players. But yeah, yeah. I would I would think we're all going to be wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Germany, we're definitely all going to be right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you may as well write that off now. By yeah, by Munich. Seven points clear, and the, the it doesn't like even seem like a lot, but you just like they don't get caught. No, they don't get caught. A chance. Leipzig, Leipzig in- a second. <coughs> Leipzig, <coughs> Wolfsburg, <coughs> Frankfurt, Leverkusen, and Dortmund doing Dortmund. shite. Yeah. Dortmund in sixth, man. Having a really poor season in the league. Having a really poor season in the league. Should we st- should we stay with Dortmund? Yeah. That's- my yeah, my let's have a little bit of crack about Jade in there. <laughs> Brian. Sancho. Watch. The mood is tense. I have been on some serious, serious reports, but nothing quite like this. Crack about Jade in there. 
Uh, we haven't had a, we haven't had essential watch in a while, so we'll. Uh, it's not it's on it. We've not been discussing relevant topics, and he's not really had anything to shout about or anything, has he? Ooh, not so. really. He was he was he was very in and out the team. Start like end of twenty twenty. Mm. Um. Obviously, Rayner was flying for them. They just bought Bellingham. Bellingham done well. But the coach, he, the coach, pure hung off Brandt for some reason. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get the Brandt thing. Nah, I don't. I, I watched Dortmund quite a bit, like towards the end of last season when football started back up again. Yeah, and I just, I just don't get the Julian Brandt thing at all. I don't get it at all. I'm with you there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, it's like Sancho hadn't even scored a league goal by New Year. Mm. <laughs> Even his England involvements were a bit yeah. in well, and out. Like his, his stats going, his stats at the turn of the year um, were eleven league games, no goals, five assists. Um, I know we've been, we've been used to such high standards from him <laughs> that like that's like you look at that for him and you're like, oh, that's Ming and you've been playing pure shit. Um, <laughs> five, but five games in the Champions League, two goals and two assists. Uh, three games in the cup, where uh, three goals, two assists. Um, since the turn of the year, he's improved a lot. Um, he's got three goals and four assists in seven games since New Year's Day. Taking his toll for the season so far, 26 games played in all comps, eight goals and 13 assists. So still I, getting the assists. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean that's still that's still good. When you when you look at it like that, it's just because the last two seasons he's been at such a high level. Absolutely. That even like a little blip like looks quite a lot. He's still, yeah. he's still so young. Like because know, that's what, that's what, like that's 17, is 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 still only what, like 21, 22? Right, it is age. Change of the system flawed him. Mm, like he, yeah. he's not he's not a three he's not a three four three player. That nah, just didn't work. Yeah. I think he's going to think like that's going to dampen his England. Yeah. yeah I think he'll still, I think he'll still be in the squad. Play, but, yeah. I think he'll still be in the squad, but I can't imagine him having a starting position now. I uh, mean, neither. Like, because the attacker midfielder options that play in England are doing so well. Yeah. Yeah. I think they'll be favoured anyway because <laughs> of that. Mm. I think it'd be stupid to leave him on the squad. And I'm not just saying that because we've got a segment on him, but no, I, I think I, it'd be ridiculous to leave him out of the squad. His assist numbers is more than enough to, for me anyway, it's like if I'm the manager, his assist numbers are exactly, like if you've got a striker like Harry Kane who can put the ball in there as soon as it's there, you, you need a player like Sancho with them kind of numbers. Yeah. It, a year ago, or even just like eight months ago, I would have had him starting for England every time, but now I I generally wouldn't have him starting. I yeah. Know, no, I like, given the players that we've got, um, but coming off the bench, that's frightening to come off the bench. That. Yeah. So. I right, completely. Hopefully, hopefully uh, keeps his form up for the rest of the season, and if the Euros are on, which is a big if, let's be mm. honest. Um. He. Uh, <laughs> Can will get selected and have a good tournament. Yeah, I think I Don't think so. he'll get I think he'll get selected. I can't imagine some <clears throat> great list Bill isn't going to do anything controversial. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> not that I, not that I think it'd be controversial. I think the only people that maybe cause a controversy would probably be Jaden Sancho and us if he doesn't get selected. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, nah, I think I think he'll get selected. To be fair, he's and good to come off the bench. I think he'll definitely move in the summer. Yeah, I think this is it now. I, I think 100% is a, is away in the summer. I Especially think... if, the, if they're finishing the position they finish now, he's, he'll have to go. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. Well, it just depends. Yeah, it just depends where. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll come back to England. Do you know where I think he'll go? go there'll, be more, there'll be more money spent because there'll be a few outgoings. Chelsea. Oh, I think. Not a bad shout. Two show, ex coach. Mm. I was thinking like some like 
maybe it's Juve or something. Nah, I, I, I oh, think they'll be back to England now. You think? Another also... Roma. <laughs> <laughs> if they ever spend in, if they ever spend in spree. You never know. Anything's possible. Like, if you look at, um, it depends on the money Dortmund want from as well, mind because well, it's not it's not really the climate for like hundred million pound transfers right now, is it? Yeah, I was I was just thinking there, like Salah, Firmino, Mane are all like uh, twenty nine year old now, aren't they? That they're, they're all like coming to an yeah. age that they might one of them might leave or two of them might leave. Oh, people um, don't want him to go to Liverpool. <laughs> people don't want him to go there. I think we'd have to stop the watch. Yeah. If he sends for Liverpool, yeah, the watch will stop and we'll, we'll do we'll do Hey Jude instead. I was about to say, I think our watch ends when he moves back to England. <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll do yeah. Hey Jude. <laughs> I think I and then we'll do Hey Jude. It's, uh, we'll find, I we'll find, we'll find some other Englishmen in, in a foreign land. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm not bothered even if it's like some Scottish charming, like Brazil or something. Oh, Aaron Hickey for Bologna. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a left back that plays from Bologna. Uh, Aaron Hickey. I'll watch, it. I'll watch yeah. anyone. I'll watch anyone. Bless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's it for that's it for Sancho. Sancho <laughs> good old Sancho. Um, so we'll move on and we will do what else have I got on here uh, Europa League and Champions League Europa League and oh, Champions shit, yeah. League I just threw my predictions away I mean I know I predicted um, for the Europa League I, I thought Dortmund would get a hard group in the Champions League drop into the Europa League and win it Dortmund have made it through to the knockout phase of the Champions League, so my Europa League prediction is just totally out the window. <laughs> I did the exact same because I went for Sevilla. Yeah, I think I went Sevilla as well. So, with that in mind, lads, we'll go through the Europa League. I'll go through the teams dead quickly. I just want to give, just want you to give us a name, right? Who you think will win it? We'll just do that. Don't. Yeah. Not, not, not big. Right, I'll just name all all the ties. So we've got it's 32 teams left. I understand it'll be hard, but. Right, Sociedad, Man United, Wolfsburg, Tottenham. Um, that isn't German Wolfsburg, by the way, I just want to say. It's a, another country, spelt different, but just in case he's going to. Uh, Olympiakos versus PSV. Slavia Park versus Leicester City. Uh, AC Milan against a team I can't say. <laughs> Young Boys versus Bayer Leverkusen. Club Bruges, Kiev. Braga, Roma. Lille versus Ajax. Krasnodar versus Dinamo Zagreb. Benfica, Arsenal, Molde Hoffenheim, Antwerp Rangers, Tel Aviv versus Shakhtar Donetsk, Granada Napoli, and Salzburg versus Villa Real. Some good, some good side in there. Yeah, some very good teams in there. I'm going to predict that one of us is right in the Serie A and AC Milan win the Europa League. You would say AC Milan win the Euro Europa League? Yeah, I think they'll dispatch Braga quite easily. And then we'll see after that. I think I'm good. I'm, you know what? I'm going to go with Spurs. I'm going to go with Jose. <laughs> yes. I, I've can, been, I, I have seen him doing it. I have thought that for a little bit. that like That's the kind of thing that would happen. Um, yeah. But they have been poor recently. Like Yeah. Like, yeah. They've, they've just gone out the FA Cup. Like Champions League spots in the league are a bit iffy at the minute, like with form and that. But I just, just got this feeling that Jose is going to do a, a Jose and pull it out the bag. Uh, I'll go with I'll go with you, Del AC Milan. Milan, nice, nice. It's hard oh. to predict the Europa League, like, but fucking hell. Oh yeah, worth a shot in it. Champions League, Bayern. Are you picked Bayern? I I picked Bayern, yeah. I'm they Bayern, play yeah. who do they play? They play Lazio in the next round. I'd fancy them to beat Lazio. Yeah, yeah I think I said Bayern as well, to be fair. I have to have a listen. <laughs> I had City in brackets <laughs> if Messi <laughs> signs. <laughs> but I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna stick out there. I'm gonna get rid of that if Messi signs. Obviously, because he can't, but I'm I'm still I still think they're in banging form. They've got they've got much from Gladbach, who I know 
it's the kind of city thing to do and lose to like someone they're supposed to beat. But yeah, I'll, I'll stick with City. So then ties are Leipzig, Liverpool on current form. I wouldn't even be surprised if Leipzig do them out. No, Sam. Um, you got Barca, PSG. I would have picked PSG, but like we said, Neymar Neymar's out now for the first leg, definitely. Uh, Sevilla, Dortmund, Dillinger's oh. Europa League picks going against each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Porto, Juve. I still fancy Juve. Yeah. Uh, Atletico Madrid, Chelsea. That'll be a good game. That's good now too, shall I? I'd have picked Atletico miles ahead if Lampard was still there. I'd, I'd still pick Atletico, but mm. yeah, uh, Bayern right, Lazio, right. like we said, we all fancy Bayern there, surely. Yeah. City, Mush and Gladbach, City, and then Atalanta, Real Madrid. I'd fancy Real Madrid, but if, if Ramos doesn't play, you can definitely score against them. So Atalanta yeah. like to score loads. So. Yeah, you, ne- you can never tell where Atalanta are concerned. Yeah, I'll stick with Bayern as from a prediction. Yeah. For, I, mean, I wouldn't blame him at all for that. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll take a miracle to beat that Bayern side now. Like a very good, disciplined side. Like on a good night to beat them. Yeah. Because they're just, they're a force, aren't they? Over two legs and all, that's where it just gets hard and it's like... Yeah. Aye. Honestly. Is that all, is that all our predictions reviewed there? Yeah. Predictions reviewed. So, um, well, let's just finish, we'll finish on a... On a Let's, re- let's review the season so far, lads. How, 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 how do you reckon we're going? Like, favourite episode. How's it going? Our f- f- favourite episodes that we've episode done. So far. Let's review the half season so far. <laughs> I enjoyed... Um, I can't remember what episode it was now. I think it might be three or four. League Cup. And my prime enjoyable thing about it was it was a guest we didn't know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was like, I know we've had a lot of guests, but they've all been our mates. Um, it, because we're obviously just starting off as a podcast, but I, I enjoyed having someone I've never met and being able to talk to someone else about football. Absolutely, yeah, that, that was good. Um, probably for me, Football Manager Chronicles because <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I just love talking Football Manager with you. Yeah, what yeah. What can I say? It seems to have taken off quite well because there's a. I think there's definitely an audience for it because I'm looking at the reviews and all about it the other, the other day and. Yeah, quite a few people have listened to it, so gets the most love on Instagram. Yeah, you you got a few Villa fans liking your <laughs> posts, <laughs> like Villa team sheets, and that's like, oh, fair enough. Up the Villa, up the Villa. Well, yeah, we we just need to learn how to shorten them, <laughs> so <laughs> so we're not chatting for two hours. Which it's is easy, fine, but... man. I think people, I think people realise that like. It's football manager in it, so you got and like say we're doing three months and we're all really excited and we all really enjoy playing football manager. Plus, we're not telling each other until the date gets recorded, yeah. so like it could be understanded, understandable to get a little bit carried away, which is good. I like it. Hey, lads, I've got a little game for you. It's not a quiz. Um, oh, nice. It's a bit on the spot. If you've got a pen and paper, don't have to take too long on it. Oh, I haven't um, even got a light in my room that works. Hang on. <laughs> I was going to say, what's going on in your house? <laughs> you can off, doing... you off and on and off loads, man. Jamie's doing a Blair Witch project. <laughs> it was because I was, I was sat on my bed with my curtains open, so I was getting the light from there, but obviously it's winter, so it's dark now. Uh, me and my cousin today had a little, like, pitch at each other about football. And I thought, I'm going to throw this to the lads, but I'm going to change it up and I'm going to give them the team they have to go. So... Recently, the Masters has added more um, episodes on Amazon Prime, Masters Football. Oh, nice. Right. And I did my Sunderland team, who like I thought would be a good one, if it was like done now. Right. Oh. And my cousin did his Newcastle one. Um, but the object was, you had to do them who you realistically think would actually play. Like, you couldn't, <laughs> be, you couldn't just be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the fall, the fall, leave Rangers for a month and dos for us. Like, oh. yeah. Right, okay. So, I'm going to give you your teams and I want you to name and I'm going to pick who I think would win. So, I'll just leave a little run through, man, and my cousin's first to see what you think. So, my cousin had for his Newcastle six because you have one keeper of five outfield. He had Steve Harper, Olivia Bernard, Nobby Solano, Aaron Hughes, Kevin Nolan, and Sean Amiobi. 
I think that's a very realistic show. That's a very, oh, that was very realistic. realistic show. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know, but he told me that Bernard still lives in the North East. That's why he said he thinks he'd do it. Oh, uh, Sunderland, I had one that you maybe wouldn't, but I went with um, Mark Poom, uh, Mickey Gray, Julio Arca, uh, Gavin McCann, Carlos Edwards and Kevin Phillips. Yeah, Gavin McCann was the first name that came to my head for doing yeah. the matches. <laughs> like, Gavin McCann would do that. Has done it before. The only yeah. other one I thought maybe, but then I thought he might play for Wolves would have been Jordy Craddock. But, yeah. So <laughs> I went for a fixture that is happening this weekend. Uh, Nathan Cupid has Manchester City, Ooh. and Jamie Jackson has Tottenham Hotspur. And I've got I've got to pick a six. Six keeper and five outfield players, and I think who I pick will win a one-off match. And I'm going to base it off. Maybe quality player, I know they're all now, and I'm going to base it off realism as well. Like, do I think they would sign up? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Nath can't have Yaya Toure. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Kev signed him for hearts on footy manager. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous, that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what is it? Uh, one keeper and five outfield? Yeah. So just while uh, lads are having a quick think, um, Nath will probably edit it down as well, but I'll just plug us. So we are available on Instagram at, at prawn underscore sandwich. A uh, lot of content going on there at the minute with, to do with football manager stuff, so it's worth a look at. And Twitter is at prawn podcast, two capital P's. Nath's doing quite a few polls and that's good crack. And we also have our first merchandise of cups. <laughs> There's all the information on the screen now for the YouTubers. Yeah. Uh, also for the also for the YouTubers, um, Justice for Nakata for anybody that voted on the Twitter poll for the right midfield of the prawn sandwich eleven. <laughs> Nakata, I, I, I voted, voted Nakata. Not me too. <laughs> <laughs> Win two votes that he got. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't vote. <laughs> but I've currently got a Perugia ninety eight ninety nine high Toshi Nakata shirt on. Nice. Oh, this is hard. This. Uh, while they're allowed to do that, I'll go through who we've got so far because I haven't had a look at it in a minute. So, Nave's doing it basically for the YouTubers. Anyone wants to look at our, uh, our Twitter, Nave's doing like a poll of people we've mentioned on the podcast in an 11. So, at the minute, in goals, we have, to my delight, um, Ika Casillas out. He pipped Oliver Kahn, Buffon, and to my extreme delight, with no votes, Peter Schmeichel. I was incredibly surprised with that one because I generally thought, because a I lot of our fans, and like Man United fans, I thought of Butch Schmeichel, and I thought Schmeichel or Kahn would walk it, but for Casillas to take it, I thought, you know what? We've got some good listeners here. Like, <laughs> I'll whip through these. You do, you do your teams, man. Yeah, I've got oh, mine. Uh, I've got right back, um, same votes. Were Cafu and Philip Lam pipping Danny Alves and Gary Neville? So Nay flipped a coin and it was Cafu. Um, he also asked us, and we both said Cafu. So uh, uh, first centre half was Alessandro Nesta, beat out closest rival Carlos Puyol, and partner him was Fabio Cannavaro. He beat Fernando Hierro. Uh, left back was Paolo Baldini, beating out Ashley Cole and Roberto Carlos with votes. Um, for some reason, Nath put in Lizzo Razu. He got no percent. Uh, right wing, me and Nath, we were talking. Hiroshi Nakata was outvoted by David Beckham. Disgrace. I know. Uh, first centre midfielder went to Roy Keane, just beating Patrick Vieira by 6%. The vote. Uh, alongside Roy Keane, we have Zinedine Zidane. He beat Kaka, who I'm guessing Nath voted for, and Frank Lampard. <laughs> and that's us so far. So if you want to keep up to date with that, on our Twitter. So, lads, have you, got, have, you, have you got your team there? Just need one more player. I'm really oh. stuck. I'm stuck between two names. <laughs> right. Well, Jamie can go through his 11 first. Uh, his 11 is six. <laughs> In Nets, Jamie? In Nets, I've got Neil Sullivan. Oh, I that think str- that's a strong start. I think 100% he'd, uh, he'd dos. Yeah. And I've got. Uh, and then, uh, Outfield six. Um, outfield six. So I've got two defenders, two midfielders, and a forward. No back, that's what I've wrote down on mine. Yeah. Um, Anthony Gardner. 
in right, defense yeah. with Stephen Carr. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah. A midfield of Jermaine Genus and Michael Brown. Oh, God. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then captain and up front, Robbie Keane. I thought that'd be the case. Yeah. Right. Uh, Nath, Man City. My Manchester City six. Um, two defenders, two midfielders, and a striker. Uh, mm. In goals, I've gone with Nicky Weaver. 100%. Yeah. Uh, two defenders, Sunji High. Oh, <laughs> and, won this. and Captain Richard Dunn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two midfielders, Ali Banabia and Paul Bosvelt. <laughs> and up front, Super John Macken. And, oh, oh, <laughs> I can't believe you picked Ali Banabia. <laughs> Ali Benabi would play. He, he was meant to do. He'd play. Right, I'm, str- I'm, I'm, I'm struggling because I was first three. I'd have went with. I'm not gonna lie. I went with Nath, Sunji Hyde, done. But then Man City brought on David James ahead of McCann. He ain't gonna go back and play for them. <laughs> John Macken, man, he scored the winner against Spurs in the cup. <laughs> and put David James ahead of him up front. <laughs> I don't yeah, want to go hit the club. Right? He hit Stuart Pierce. <laughs> in a one off game, I'm going to give it to Jamie Jackson. Robbie Keane will win that game. Robbie Keane would play and he would take that game for, for Jamie Jackson with goals. I think. No chance. Right up, there. No chance. Wouldn't I get think, past Weaves. I think if you'd picked Sean Gorter up front, I would have been doomed. Like, yeah, I'd have goal. probably went with, I'd have went with City if he did that. Gorter will be on the bench, man. I, His legs haven't gone. Mike Phillips ahead of Benali and all, I'd have probably put, went there. But Benabi would play. It'd be one of them games where it's like, who else have they got? Like, oh my the only god, one that I was, awesome. the only one that I was struggling with, Jays, was I don't think uh, I'd be a bit iffy on Genus. He likes himself on TV a lot lately, so would he uh, come down for it? But mm, top and take it. And that's it mm. for my new game. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, put it, we'll put it to the listeners and watch City smash them. <laughs> <laughs> Should load up, load up, load up FIFA 98. Go to um, three, like, play, edit players mode. We'll make these teams and do an indoor five or side game on it. Oh my god, what did you forget to like you know that Rocky Balboa film where it was like the real, like the, the, like, the modern champion <laughs> against an old dog? What did you got that part and like they made this game? Like, oh my god, I'd be oh there. Oh my god, <laughs> lockdown's <laughs> doing strange things to us here, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Right. All right. That's it then, isn't it? It is. Right. Another another fantastic helping of prawn sandwich for you. Oh, a nice a nice brief on that one, I think, compared yeah. to the previous couple. Yeah. <laughs> what um, we've still got to look forward to, we've still got uh goal two. Goal two. Yeah, uh, reviewing goal 40 two. Man- 40 manager months. Yeah. Um, um yeah, we've got, I've got a player a pick for a player profile. Um, yeah, to- uh, tournament. Tournament as well. And I think tournament's my choice as well, is it not? Yeah, tournament's next ahead of player profile for whatever you're going to pick. Yeah. Sound and then hope. Hopefully, we can get some guests on as well. Yes. Um, Absolutely. We've got a, we've got a few that we just need to push over the line. That's yeah. the annoying thing at the minute. We're well, working like, on a couple of names. <laughs> yeah, but we appreciate that. Like, they like, talk. Of, it, it's it's harder getting folk on to just come and do Zoom calls than it is when you can meet up and like have a proper chat and stuff. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Um, message shout, out, shout out to the Apple Tree Pub in Carl as well, and all three CT Seven Clothing. Um, as you can see, we've got cups. As as the Dylan had said, <laughs> that we've got cups. Uh, I'm sending one to Steve from T Seven Clothing. And he asked me how much we paid for them. And I was like, oh, it was just a one-off. Like, we've just bought 10 as a one-off. And he's like, right, I might be able to get you them cheaper. So we might be able to sell these cups if, if Stephen works his <laughs> magic. <laughs> you might be able to buy a prawn sandwich cup. So there you uh, go. I'll, I'll win them. I'll win them. Yeah, that's a good one. Do. Oh, that's I'll good. That is a good I- show. I'd prefer to do something where we were getting up, we would like send them out to listeners as like gifts for winning something than asking yeah. them. Yeah, I'd enjoy that. I'd enjoy that. I like that. Hopefully, we can get a full list yeah, of you. I will jot some ideas down for that. Yeah. Imagine if we've got like a little prawn sandwich section on the T7 website. 
<laughs> Front no, sandwich first. Don't force the guy to do that. Do oh, yeah. it, man. <laughs> Steve, if you're watching or listening, do it. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean. Right. Yeah. Right then, we'll let you go. We've, we've bothered you long enough. Till next time. It's Arrivederci. Goodbye. How's the bacon, did you say? That's his Oh, what a fantastic hit! Roy Keane on Holland. Here's Sancho. Back